honor for those joining us for the very first time. Welcome you, welcome. Today, we are going to talk about trauma triggers. We are in this talking about my grief and I share with you every little detail that I pick up here and there and emotion and all of that stuff. So basically, what I share with you hopefully helps you also. So you probably want to know now what is a trauma trigger? According to Google, the grief triggers are those reminders often unexpected that in an instant can cause a wave of grief to wash over you or even knock you down. You become distracted from what you were doing and find yourself in pain. A trigger can be anything that brings up memories related to your loss. I'm talking about it because I had an experience of it um, the first time we hit my parents' tombstones and then the second time of my birthday. I remember when mine happened and I was not sure what the heck is going on. The first time was just I just wanted to sit by myself for a moment and just uh, almost like an anxiety attack situation that happened. I literally had and I was like I cannot even stand people. And I just thought mm, am I the only one who does not know what this technically means. I did my research call my grief counselor to be like what does this mean why am i going through this at this point in time and they explained to me that it is then a trigger so i'm here sitting in my room on the floor simply because now i miss my parents more my mom would have called me already and she'd be like dean we were tenka, cause now and your man was cock as shit, and my dad would have called, and he would sing. And one of my favorite songs that he would like to sing to me is literally Yes, it's all sita wan jenguka, oh mi unishon dilimo, onji lanji dendemo, dendemo ya sinana that song. <sighs> Trauma triggers can be caused by sight, sounds, smell, events, and your thoughts. Technically, take over your senses. Most of them, they're not. So you can either like sight something, see something that reminds you of that, of the trauma. If you can see a person that reminds you of the trauma, you can see a shirt that reminds you of the trauma or the experience. So you can hear different sounds. It could be like a song that you remembered of the experience. It's just maybe a ring, a bell ringing, a car moving. Smell is like the perfume of the person. You know when someone like is passed or whatever, you smell their scent in their clothes. It can be that that takes you back to the trauma. It can be your thoughts, you playing the event over and over again on your mind, in your mind. It can be an event that happens, especially the holidays is one of those that really brings back, that can cause like a trauma trigger. I was having a good time for the rest of the day at my birthday and then I had a trigger, a grief trigger. This is unexpected because I'm really someone who's really good at like holding on to my emotions. Um, and you know, I can put a smile on and hide my pain. You know, it's, like, mm, it's just one of those things. I it, it, um, Anyway, I don't know how to explain it. But I hate it. And it happened in such a way that made me feel like I was there again. That same, not even night, morning, that same morning. <laughs> One hour later. Guys, it literally took me back to that same morning. And I just started bawling. Mind you, I'm in a club. It's around 10, 11-ish a.m. When 8 p.m. at night, we had just gone and a lounge. And I'm there. This trigger 
knocked me so off my feet in such a way that I sat in public and cried, wept like a baby. <laughs> I I cried <laughs> I cried for a good maybe 30 minutes people who were with me would know and I hold on to one of my village people I don't know why I call it a village to one of my friends I don't know why she was my safety zone like I couldn't even she would even who she would even attest I couldn't even let her go that's how bad I was crying that's how much it's as if I was there for those 30 minutes like I was back there to that morning to sitting there at the hospital and I'm getting the news in the early hours of the morning <laughs> i was there and that moment that it knocked me down so much i could remember exactly what i was wearing that day i remember exactly who told me the news i remember their face i could tell you if i was an artist i can i could i could literally draw the entire scene out for you word for word but it felt so like it was the first time i'm hearing it it knocked me so down and got me so crying like to even even when I was done sobbing weeping I could not stop the tears from running I could not stop the tears from running I was having conversations with people and my tears is just would just come so if you find yourself in this situation what can you do to cope basically you can take deep breaths long deep breaths like for my parents too so they didn't make me cry it really just wanted me to sit in like a very quiet place and sit by myself like everything annoyed me people annoyed me at the time everything at that moment just annoyed me I took some time for myself, took some very big deep breaths, um, calmed myself down and then I went back and it was okay. After you take, like if you take deep breaths, you can also cry about it, like it's okay to cry and cry all the feelings out that you probably have kept bottled up inside and the crying is like that open top and be like everything out. You can also ex do expressive writing, journaling, paint, expressive drawing, draw your pain out, you know, stuff like that. I do a lot of journaling, hence all my notes when this random triggers, like grief things happen, I take a lot of notes. It's not really like a journal of like what my day is like, it's just if something emotional happened just related to the grief that I don't understand, I will write it down. You can do then counseling, trauma counseling, join a support group. Um, find a friend who you can literally feel safe with enough to share this info so be mindful of your triggers what causes the trigger is it the smells is it the type of scent that you hear all of that stuff um, I also know that I also have like mini anxiety every time I go into church uh, so it's literally like a mindful work thing that I have to go to church only because my parents are the ones who introduced us to church so church is very like our thing and so it's very weird to go to church and not come back and call them and be like how was church how was your church and think about church songs because then for me it constantly brings up that reminder of they're not there you know so church is also one of those things that also gives me mini anxiety so be mindful of your triggers so i give myself time to go and stay away and to go because i really want to get back into going to church it's just my thing you don't have to want to do it but anyway it's just me I've learned I've learned that they will come and they somehow will last for like a few months until I think your whole entire system your entire site is used to the fact that this has happened and you are dealing with it um, and I'm not the only one so I'm not like strange it's not a strange 
occurrence the traumas will come constantly if you don't deal with whatever trauma you have or the grief that you have that's why you need to do at least a good counseling session or something again therapy is expensive so i'm not saying go to expensive therapy sessions you can also go to people like philip i trust if you have a church probably have counselors there they can also counsel you so they are got two cheaper options i know the government is probably like overrun and psychologists are not enough and all of that stuff but you can do that yeah try and get some sort of help to deal with your trauma but as far as basically grief and triggers just remember that those things are out there and yeah it happens to all of us it's a learning curve it's a healing thing it's not neat it's not packaged it's not boxed it's not one way it's literally a roller coaster it is ugly it is it hurts <laughs> healing hurts but it's a good hurt like surgery hurt you know like i just went through surgery i'm healing type of hurt um but it is it is it is not a healing is not as fun as we think it is like oh my gosh i'm healing i'm doing so okay it's not like emotionally it it rips you apart in a good way and try to re rebuild you in a very good way also in a healthier way i think a better way i don't know which is which but like what they are in that line <sighs> so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to please subscribe we are trying to reach 500 subscribers in jesus name i pray amen oh,